Hey guys, welcome back. So in today's video, we're going to be exploring different personality tests that defines who you are. So these tests will also go into detail of who you are and how you react in different situations, whether that comes with like romantic relationship, in tough situation, what you're like as a friend, and all these kind of things. Psychologists believe that it is possible to evaluate different areas of your subconscious, such as fear, streams, and main personality traits in general. Projective personality tests in particular analyzes how a person responds to particular situations through a drawing. So we're going to be taking three different kinds of tests. So the first one is a drawing test. You'll have to draw a person in the rain. This test will reveal your attitude towards tolerance, pressure, and frustration, and defense mechanisms, and level of anxiety. Another thing about these personality tests is it should be super quickly. Just write down or pick one of the answers that actually come the fastest to you. So less than five seconds, just draw, draw, draw. Draw a person in the rain. That's kind of like vague. So here is my drawing. Look at your drawing along with it. So I'm just not sure what I drew and we're gonna look at the results. So this is my drawing. Okay, so we have the girl right here and I just drew a big umbrella because I wanted her to protect herself. You know, I've always dreamt of like big umbrellas so you never have to get wet. The rain shoes on and then we have like big puddles here. I don't know, when it rains, it pours. Let's look at the orientation of the drawing. On the right, if the person on the sheet of your paper is located on the right, it indicates your desires to grow professionally and your confidence in what will happen in the future. On the left, if the person is located on the left of the paper, it shows your pessimistic attitude and also that someone from your past prevents you from being happy in the future. In the center, if your person occupies a central position, it means you're quite competitive. I drew her in like the middle, but more on the left side. So like in the middle, but like a little bit like here. Okay, so it tells me I am pretty competitive. Umbrella, so if you drew no umbrella, it indicates that you have no protective mechanisms and resource to cope with difficult life situations. A large umbrella that covers a person almost com completely means that you're very defensive, the type of person who always needs protection and prefers isolation. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so I prefer being very defensive, having protection and isolation, which is true. Whenever I am down or whenever like I want to be in my space, I need my space. Like I need isolation, that's kind of true. Human figure, front view, the ability to confront difficult situations. Profile view, the desire to avoid ambiguous situations. Back view, the need to go unnoticed. Me personally, I drew the front view of the whole person. The size of the drawing, small, modesty, insecurity, feeling of inferiority, low self-esteem, big. The need to be recognized prone to vanity. I don't know, I kind of like fill the whole paper. I'm more on the big side, so. How you drew the picture. The most common way is to start with the person's head and finish with the raindrops. However, if you started with the feet, ooh, anyone start with the feet? It shows that you tend to choose the wrong way to solve your problem. If you started with an umbrella, it can be a sign of excessive defensiveness. Does a person move in your drawing? If the person is staying still, it shows that you want to protect yourself from the surrounding world and that you have some problems with adaptations. If the person is walking, it means that you know where you're heading with your life. Alright guys, so that was a personality test to see who you are inside. Do you think these tests kind of matched up to who you are or do you think it was completely wrong? Alright, so the second personality test we're gonna get is uh, we need another paper and a pen and I'm gonna write down each question. Now when you guys hear the question, remember to write down what first comes up in your head within less than five seconds. You guys write down the answers yourself and I will be playing this personality test with you guys. Alright, so here's the story personality test. You you are walking in a deserted island. All of a sudden, you see a mountain of shoes. How many pairs would you take? Oh, okay. Okay, so I'm going to be saying I'm going to take as much as I can. I feel like I need to have a lot of shoes because just in case in a deserted island, all of a sudden I lose my shoes or my shoes get wet, I have a lot of different pairs that I could be prepared with, right? How many pairs did you guys pick? You guys could pick zero if you want to. I mean, like zero, one, two, three, four, five, or even 50 maybe, I don't know. You've been walking for a while now with these shoes on and come across a fruit tree just in time as you were hungry. How many would you eat? I'm hungry, I'm in a deserted island, I'm gonna eat till I'm full because who knows when I'm gonna get the next meal, so I'm gonna say full. You continue walking and see a house. How big is the house? Are there any fences? 
Okay, so I'm gonna say like a pretty like medium size. Medium big. I'm gonna say medium big. Like a I'm gonna say no fences. You walk into the house and there are many candles. How many candles would you light up? I'm gonna light up a lot of candles because for me, if I walk into a stranger's house or a house that I've never been to, I'm gonna be pretty spooked out. So I'm gonna light up as many candles as I can to lit up the whole house. So a lot. You then see a table. How many chairs are there along with the table? I'm gonna say six. Five, six. Mm, I'm gonna say six chairs. Okay. You walk into the study room in the house. There's a garbage can next to the table. How many tissues are in there? I'm gonna say for some reason it's like one third. One third. One third of tissue. You decide to leave through the back end of the house. Now what kind of road do you see in front of you? A deserted island, I see more of like a squiggly line and then there's like trees next to it So I would see more like a long straight little tiny bit squiggly lines As you're walking through that road, a animal pops up. What kind of animal is it? Normally I would say gorilla, but I don't want to say gorilla anymore I'm gonna say a horse I always pick gorillas whenever, whenever I do these personality tests But I feel like gorillas, I would freak out and I would run But a horse, it's like could go up to it, pet it, maybe like give you a ride. There's a river in front of you. You must cross the river with your animal. How would you cross over the river? Hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna hold on to the horse's like tail and we're gonna walk side by side. I don't want the horse to carry my weight and then walk across this heavy river. And then if anything happens, because horse is probably bigger than me, I could like hang on to it. If I have any bags or something, maybe the horse could carry it and I will just swim because I'm pretty good at swimming. Anyway, you guys, I'm so excited to hear what kind of animals that you guys chose and what answers you chose. So let's take a look at what we chose and what this means about our personality. So number one, the question with how many pairs of shoes would you take? This tells how many romantic partners that you want or need <laughs> oh my god i put a lot i put five pairs eh. anyway what did you guys pick did you guys pick zero because that would mean you don't need any romantic partner or did you put one maybe some of you guys put a lot like 100 pairs it's kind of scary second question about eating how many fruits this question shows your greed in materialistic things or well oh okay so i put full belly what you guys put so I guess this means I do have a lot of expectations or greed or wants in my life when it comes to money or materialistic things. I guess that's true, kind of true. You know, as a female, I do want a lot of things sometimes. But at the same time, I know I have a lot of patience and like skills to really balance myself out. If you guys put like, I don't know, like three apples or like five fruits, maybe it means that you don't have too much greed in the materialistic goods. And just to let you guys know, there's no right or wrong answers. There's only answers that is for you. So don't worry about what you guys pick. All right, number three, the question about the houses and the fences so it says the size of your house actually shows your ambitions in life so if you drew a big house it means you have big ambitions small house or shack means you have a little bit of ambitions in life medium equals medium all right so i put medium big so my ambitions are like in the middle of big area which is which is i think true i say i do have pretty big ambitions in life but there are times when, when i'm like ah, oh, you know it'll happen at the right timing so let the world be so if you drew a fence around the house or if you didn't draw any fence around the house it shows how open and closed your personality is so i guess it means how open you are in life how closed-minded person you are i guess if you didn't draw any fences it, it shows that you're more honest and a straightforward person i drew no fences i wrote down no fences because i don't know i felt like because i feel like there's no need for fences because people will rob you in a deserted island anyway so what's the point of fences so the candles show the amount of interest that you guys have at a romantic partner oh i put all candles <laughs> does that mean i am ho 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 i'm a santa claus i don't know about that i don't know i know did you guys put like one candle two candles did you guys put only like 10 candles or did you guys put all candles like me the amount of chairs around the table show how many person in your life that you can trust at the moment so i put six chairs so i guess it shows that i have six people in my life that i could trust okay 
okay. Actually, that's kind of true. Like, including my family and friends, I don't have like a big group, but at the same time, it's not like one person. I think that is pretty accurate. The amount of tissues that are in the garbage can shows your intelligence level. What? So I put one third because I just felt like, I don't know, it's a deserted island. Like who uses tissues that much? I guess it means I'm only using one third of my brain and I'm not that intelligent. I don't know about this question, you guys. I think I'm pretty smart. So you guys, how many tissues did you guys put? Question number seven of what kind of role that you see in front of you shows how you view your future. So this is how I drew my future. I guess this is how I see my future. Pretty straightforward with a little bit of, you know, curves. The next question with the animals, a random animal popping up in front of you shows the ideal partner that you want in your life. Oh, okay. So I'm so curious to see what kind of animals you guys chose. I chose a horse. Oh, actually horses are pretty big. They're lean, they're fast. You know, they are very reliable. They're handsome. You guys could have chose, I don't know, a bunny, a monkey, deer, a cow. Think of the characteristics from these animals and see if that matches your ideal partner in real life. How you will cross the river with your animal shows your relationship with your partner. So I chose a we will walk side by side. Mm. But I will hold on to the tail just in case I fall. <laughs> I guess that shows that I would like to be equal and balanced with my partner. I don't want anyone to overpower or anyone to be weaker than the other one. So that shows exactly how I want my relationships to go, which is very true because I I actually don't like being too leader leadership but at the same time I don't want to be the slave you know like just following whatever he wants so I definitely do think this is very accurate you guys might have chose you want to ride on top of your animal or you might want the animal to be on top of you you want to protect it or you might be like forget about the animal I'm just gonna cross the river by myself whatever I mean who knows what you have chosen for the answers but that shows how you will be in the relationships all right so the last personality test I have for you guys today is a pick and answer test. You're reading a book and suddenly you see a big cockroach. What would you do once you see the bug? A. Spray it enough with bug kill spray. B. Pretend like you didn't see it and continue reading. C. You yell at it, tell it to go away. D. Throw an object at it. All right, you guys, so what answers did you guys pick? If I see a big bug, I am going to A. Spray enough bug spray to kill it. All right, so let's take a look at the answers. It says, question is figure out how you act around someone you dislike. A. You act like a nice person on the outside, but you are otherwise. You continue to think that the other person is a bad person and continue disliking the person in your mind. That's kind of true because I don't want to be rude. If I don't even like that person, I just keep it to myself and I just do what I need to do, act nice on the outside and you know, just kind of go about my way. If you picked B, you're the type of person to just completely ignore someone you dislike. You try to avoid them at all costs. Okay, so you don't even talk to that person, you don't even do anything, you just ignore them. If you pick C, you are the type to not keep it in, you show your emotions. If the person you dislike says something you also don't like, you often get angry with them up front. Wow, okay, so you're kind of very like confronting. D, you are upfront with the person you dislike. You are the type to talk bad and not hide your dislike emotions. You will often confront or bicker with them and like to watch their reaction. Oh, so if you pick D, you guys are savages. You it says you even enjoy watching their reactions as you confront them. So you guys, do you think this completely matches the way you act in front of the person you dislike? <laughs> Imagine you are a princess. You have a major crush on the other country's prince. You gain the confidence to ask the prince's father, aka the king, for permission to marry the prince. The king says in one condition. The prince must be locked up in the top floor of the castle and you must wait for him for seven days. You've been waiting patiently every single day, but on the sixth day, you decide to leave. You decide not to wait anymore. What was the reason you, aka the princess, left? Okay, I'm gonna say because I am the best and I don't need no man that I need to wait for. I don't need the prince. I have a lot of different agendas and maybe something more important came up. Like I'm the princess, all of a sudden the queen dies and I have to be the queen and I just have to go. All right, so are you guys ready for the answer? So it says, this test was to find out the reason why you break up with your romantic partners. Ooh, okay. 
Okay. So I guess for me, when I break up with a romantic partner, it means that I have something more important than them, such as work. Because I do know that like relationships can be more temporarily than permanently because my life and my work, everything about myself is permanent. But with like a romantic relationships, it comes and goes in my opinion. So that's kind of accurate. That's kind of accurate. If you guys enjoyed this video and if I should do a part two on different personality types, leave a like on this video so I know that you guys want it. Remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell because I reply to all my early birds. And have a magical, magical New Year's. Bye!